going to church council meeting to create the scene there. You are not the next in line to be the head pastor. Moreover, we were just posted here six months ago. Woman, why are you ridiculing the call of God upon my life? I am not ridiculing the call of God upon you. I am only telling your actions are ridiculing the one who called you. Oh, come on, spare me that. Listen, the church boasts of great numerical strength because of the anointing that I spread each time I preach. Therefore, the church council should respect that by making me the head pastor now that Pastor Boyega is dead. <laughs> Just to remind you, God called me and not you. So do not speak for the one who called you. Oh God, why you? Something is wrong somewhere. My home is on fire. Urgent matter, you said you called me. I don't know how to say this, but the truth is, sometimes dreams become reality. I'm sorry, Pastor Ben. I'm pregnant for you, and I've decided to keep this one. Nice day, Pastor Ben. Brethren, we need to be strong enough to go through these trying times. Even though it is painful to imagine that our head pastor has been called to be with the Lord, but the church must march forward. The gate of hell must not prevail against it. Yes. Elder Jude has made a very good point. The church must move forward. Yes. And in moving forward, I suggest that we look for somebody that will occupy the vacant office of the head pastor. Oh yes. So that the flocks will not look like the one that doesn't have a shape pad. Um, if we are to do that, um, I can suggest that we appoint Pastor Benjamin. Abba, uh, at this time, now that the church is yet to get out of what has just happened, the passing away of our pastor. It's too early for us to be talking about a replacement of our late pastor. Pastor Boyga just pastor. And we are seated here. We should be sensitive to the spirit. I think Eda Israel is very right. 
We have to be very careful. Um, Pastor Joel, I wasn't talking to you. I want everybody to help me understand. <clears throat> I want you to see this in biblical principle. Even Judas Iscariot was replaced with Matthias when there was need. According to the book of um, Acts of the Apostles, wow. chapter 1 from verse 16. Brethren, the church today boasts of its great numerical strength because of the anointing that spreads. Anytime I'm given the opportunity to preach, the church should respect that by making me the head pastor. Pastor Nelson, let's go. Pastors, it's not up to that yet. Pastor Joy, actually, this is a very sensitive matter. Even if we are talking about replacement, it should be you because you were the assistant pastor as at the time Pastor Boyega pastor. Well, brethren. This is a very, very sensitive matter and we need to take care. Let's not forget that a little long living leavens the whole long. Um, Lucy, what time is the party? It's two o'clock. Two? Yeah. It's too early now. We'll go there, chill out before the party starts. You know now. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Guess what, Lucy? I had a dream that Bora Peter proposed to me. Bro Peter. Mm -hmm. Which of the Bro Peter? <laughs> or mm. are you referring to our choir director? Of course, Brother Peter Simon. See, he's a man that any woman would desire to have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even go there. You're not his type. Of course, you go to church. But you and I know that you're not born again. <laughs> Does that matter? See, once I get married to him, I will be converted. And besides, the basic thing here is love and I love him. And again, I was thinking of going to tell Pastor that this is what God said. See, spiritual people always believe anything we say God said. <laughs> Don't even go there. You're not his type. You can't be his wife. You that doesn't even know how to cook. <laughs> no, know how to cook. <laughs> hey, babe, see, I can cook rice and I can cook stew. And besides, if it's Indomie, you know I do that perfectly. And see, he's born again, so he will accept anything that I offer him. <laughs> cook Sandra. Him. You better wake up from your slumber mm -hmm. and face the reality that you are not his type. Mm -hmm. You are not the type for bro P. I hear you. No doubt, the anointing of God is mightily manifesting since this leadership came on board. Well, I think our joy shouldn't only be on the fact that the membership base has increased. And uh, the fact that there's anointing flowing. But we should be more concerned about the number of members that are going to the kingdom of heaven. And that is why we are here. Mm. That's true, Pastor Joy. I agree with you. In as much I agree with what you are saying, the truth still remains that more members equate to more money. Oh. oh yes, I want us to understand that we need money to do the work of God. And we also need money to take care of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, uh, I hope I'm making a point. You're very, very correct. Yeah. You're very, very correct. Mm -hmm. On, on, a, on a final note, let us put Pastor Joel in prayer. He 
he, according to him, he has been led to a missionary journey in one of the villages. Hmm? Um, Pastor Joel, we will be praying for you. And uh, anytime we have excesses, my boss, after we must have taken care of the church obligations, financial church obligations, we will not hesitate to extend our happy hands to you. No, not at all. Not Praise at all. the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Uh, Pastor Joel, we keep praying for you. Thank eh? you. Thank you don't need to worry yourself. Thank, Thank you. Keep praying for Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Pastor Joe, we will keep praying for you. Thank you. And may the Lord lead you. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all.
to our rehearsals. Oh, you're welcome, sir. And hope you enjoy our rehearsal today. Yes, very well, I do. Hope to see you in our next God willing, I should be around. All right, thank you. All right, you God bless you. Amen, sir. God bless you. Hi. So, how's the Riaza? Doing well. Um, I felt you may not have time to look after the set, so I decided to bring this rice and steam for you so you can have something to eat later. You shouldn't have bothered yourself, Sister Sandra. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. You know, you can always count on me anytime, anytime. Just leave me. Wow. That means I don't have to bother myself cooking tonight again. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, I'll just check on something. All right. All right. Wow. I miss a dog. Brother P, brother P. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thank God. You're welcome to the Kula Ministry. Let me tell you. Thank God they make money again, brother, like you. I acquire the rental. If not, <laughs> all those ladies in the choir will be in trouble. You are not serious, bro, this month. Ah, uh -huh. bro, wait. Tell me you don't love Sandra. <coughs> mm. um, um, you know, the Bible commands us to love even our neighbor as ourselves. So I'm just fulfilling biblical injunctions. Mm. Here they go. Always spiritual. You are not serious, Desmond. See, my own is that if you love this girl, you better tell her so that she will know the fate of her Kula ministry. You are not serious. <laughs> you are not serious. You, are not just... you better tell her, oh. <laughs> Don't have said my own. Darling, you're here. <sighs> Darling, what about breakfast? The worms in my system are really becoming impatient. Have you forgotten that today has been set aside to observe a fasting and prayer for churches in our nation that are currently under siege from the pit of hell? Mm. Yeah. Remember that you and I are not safe so long as the church is still under, the body of Christ is still under siege. And food is the body's fuel. Without it, the system will collapse. I saw plantain and potato in the kitchen yesterday night. I would want you to prepare me some. And please don't forget to garnish it the way you do. You know I love it. Hmm? And don't forget to remind me to do my fasting tomorrow. Love you. Indeed, trouble abounds. When men of God are insensitive in the realm of the spirit. Babe, it's worked. You can't believe Rob is already falling for me. Huh. <laughs> really? I didn't tell you. You need to see the way he, he talks to me these days. As in a... <laughs> yeah. Well, you know you owe me a lot for that. Eh, I beg, I beg. Don't do shakara for me. Me too. One day, I will learn how to cook. Whatever. <laughs> see? Me, I'm tired of this country. I'm tired. Make all of us just die. Make everything start again. Make actually just take place. Hi. If my help, me and I say, I know they go. Good I Even some pastors don't go make help. If that just take place now, me and I know where they go. Uh -huh. So those that are going and know themselves so. In fact, 
I get plans up. On where they go. Look of service. Tell us your plans. But we know where that will go. Yeah. This is my plan. I know people who I think of Bekuna, I make no use Narek is this for my blues. I think of Bekuna. See. I don't make plans with one of my guys, Rasbi, for his one water board. There. Now he be the chief uh, constructor, I think. Uh, the plumber. I don't know. I don't tell him I make me a rich, I don't give him money. Because I don't say if I are hot. If we are dead like this now, hot. I don't say if I go hot fast like this. So I don't give him money, make him buy pipe, arrange for me, they keep. In case rapture take place now, I'll just arrange the pipe. Go where fire go, they located. Tap water from lagoon. I don't see not the dry now. I don't carry the nose to face myself. There. Go away. Only me. Ade, Ade, Ade. Ade, which kind, which kind brain, which kind fish brain you get, Ade? Eh? You want to connect pipe from. From 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 Otabo to here, they receive your brain from your village. Adi, 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 I beg your brain, no, they stable. I beg. Thank you. They won't wait, they stable. Manage them like that. Mr. P. Ah, Desmond. How are you doing? I'm fine. How have you been? Sorry, I'm fine. I'm on my way to your house okay. to ask if you've seen the manager. Okay. The manager? Yeah. No. Why well, I saw something very interesting, which I would like you to hear. What exactly is that? We need to talk. Please, what is it? Tell me. What is it? It's Sandra. 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 Let's go inside. Tell what I know that I've sinned against God. I have brought disgrace. This commission. My greed. Lost. And impatience. Has made me dwarf. Among giants. My elders. I must confess. My wife. My lovely wife. I have no hand in this. I acted alone. Brethren. The church needs to be purged from this act of embezzlement, greed, and adultery. <laughs> and the painful part is that these acts were committed by the very elect. <sighs> well, that takes me to the book of First Corinthians 5, 7, verse 6. Purge out therefore the old living, that ye may be a new law. As you are on living, for even Christ, mm. our Passover, is sacrificed mm. for us. This is not personal. It is the word of God. Mm. And it must be obeyed. Pastor Benjamin, you know the implication of this. 
we have decided as a council that you step aside as head pastor of this church and consequently as a pastor in this church. We need to stop the church from being described as a den of thieves, adulterers and hypocrites. Pastor Benjamin! Pastor Benjamin! You shamed your home. You shamed the church. You ridiculed the call of God upon your life. journey did not end here. We're actually standing between two choices. Allow the enemy to conquer the church or present ourselves as battle axe in the hands of the Almighty to confront the enemy. Therefore, it is important we embrace the crucified life crucified life is not trying to do more for God or increasing our religious effort. It is not activity. It is surrender. It is being crucified with Christ. It is not Christ and us, but Christ in us. Pastor Alfred Darlington, you want your call to be effective and bring shame to the enemy of the church? Then embrace the crucified life, else your call will be in ridicule. I hope you get the message. Thank you, my bishop. You're welcome. My name is Mfo Ebel Joseph. I took on the role of uh, Elder Israel. Elder Israel is one of the elders that was always concerned about the things of God being carried out appropriately according to the scriptures as prescribed. And as the elder Israel also is someone that made sure that the rules that is given to every church leader is being taken and taken appropriately. The experience of the location was very wonderful, very wonderful indeed. Well, I don't want to say it was tedious, because nothing good comes easy anyway. So all I can say there is that the role and the location was quite wonderful and interesting indeed. I am Giwa Felix King. I took on the role of Elder Jude.
Well, uh, that Jude is the stern-looking, tough elder who believes that um, righteousness must be upheld in the church. See, you know, you know, and that where where righteousness is not upheld, necessary punishment and judgment should be meted out so that others can learn. Um, he is a, a no-nonsense elder who had to stop all the, you, 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 you could see all the activities of um, Pastor Benjamin. And so he was one of the persons who could actually tame him. Well, first I will say that um, this play is uh, really a reflection of what is happening in the church today, especially among um, the Pentecostals. And we see uh, so much of these things every day, uh, where a pastor or someone who feels that he's been anointed will want to take the pulpit at all costs. He wants to rule, he wants to be a leader, uh, because he's anointed, forgetting that anointing without character is zero. Anointing without holiness will take him no far. And that's what we saw in the case of um, uh, Pastor Benjamin. Quite a young man, anointed um, with so much grace, but he was greedy and impatient. He, he never waited for God to work on him. So that's what we see in the society and in the church today. People get the grace, but don't wait to be worked on. If you are not worked on, no matter what grace you have, it will lead you no far. Beautiful. Well, you know, some of us, uh, this seem to be uh, like, uh, we, we look like first timers and then um, we are just doing this, you know, for the first time. And, uh, but quite beautiful um, environment, quite beautiful location quite beautiful and inspiring, you know, message. Uh, my name is Isaac Ali. Uh, in this uh, short movie, I played the role of a bishop. My role is an informative one. It is that of giving direction and caution to the church. A church that has already a landmark. But it's very, very obvious that the church is missing it all. And my role is to awaken the church to the understanding that we're drifting so fast, not really gradually, so fast away from the landmark into something entirely different from the foundation of the Christianity that Jesus Christ and the Apostles handed over to others. A very wonderful movie. The message is precise, concise and so direct. It is to challenge the church, especially the leadership of the church. Our self-aggrandizement, our personal ambitions that we allow it to shroud and to becloud the activities of the church. My final word for the church is that we should be more serious. The truth is that all of us are just playing religion, so to say, and it is time to stop that and embrace Christianity from the real perspective, not playing religion. Oh, very wonderful. Um, uh, I've acted drama from my primary school to secondary school, but I've never acted anything close to this. So uh, I feel it's a wonderful opportunity for me to be part of it, especially that it is a Christian movie and uh, it has a very serious message uh, passing across to the church and to church members.